I swear, that man is the most egotistical, insufferable human being I have ever met. Yeah, but you two make such a cute couple. <laughs> like Bert and Ernie. <laughs> you guys even teach me stuff about words and numbers. Well, I've had it. I am done. I can't. I can't live with him for one more minute. Wow. So where are you going to go? Well, I was thinking here with you. <laughs> That a problem? No, 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 no. It's 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 great. It's terrific. I, you know, I just can't help feel bad about Sheldon. I mean, how's he gonna get by without you, Ernie? He's got Amy now. Yeah, he does, but it's not the same. Why? Um. Well, um, all right, you, you know how in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Ron didn't abandon Harry just because Harry started dating Ron's sister? Harry and Ginny get together. <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> My point is, as much as I want to live with you, I can't do it knowing how much Sheldon needs you. Uh, please, the only thing he needs me for is to be his whipping boy, his, his stooge, his doormat. Well, you know what they say, if it ain't broke. <laughs> wow. It sounds to me like you don't want us to live together. No, 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 I do. I do, it's just, it's a really big step. Is it? We're together all the time. Financially, it makes great sense. Can you think of one reason why we shouldn't do this? Well, um, I'm just a little thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing. Great. I'll go get my stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, don't freak out. You can make this work. Oh, could you clear off a shelf for me in the bathroom? I take a lot of medicine. <laughs> oh, please let some of it be Xanax. <laughs> You mean to shut the door so you can do your knocking thing? No, I didn't start yet. It's fine. Okay. So what do you need? Well, I was thinking about you helping me out last night. Penny. <laughs> and I just wanted to tell you, Penny, <laughs> that the answer to the question, who did a great job, is you. Penny. Really? Yes. You were very natural in front of the camera. And I found your suggestions extremely helpful. Oh, sweetie, you just made my day. Okay. Uh, hey, my acting class is putting on a play Friday night. I could put you and Amy on the guest list. Oh, that sounds terrible. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> so much for your advice on complimenting Penny. Why? What happened? She tried to rope us into going to her acting class to see a play. Uh, don't worry, luckily I had the good sense to drown that kitten in the river. <laughs> Sheldon, that's very rude. She helped you with your show. The right thing to do is reciprocate by going to see her play. Oh, so many crazy rules. <laughs> Penny? 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 Oh yeah, much better. What? Amy pointed out to me that since you did something nice for me, I'm obligated to do something nice for you. So, yes, I'll go to your dopey play. <laughs> hey, I don't want you to go anymore. Why not? You should go because you want to go, not because you have to. D oh, dear Lord, more rules. Where does it stop? <laughs> Can I want to go because I have to want to go? Okay, do whatever you want. Yeah, but no, wait. Do whatever I want, or whatever I have to want. Oh, for God's sake, just come to the play. All right. I don't want to, but at least that makes sense. 